Hey, what's up, traders? What's everyone getting so scared about? I guess the markets moved down this week. This is uh, Trader Tim from eminimind.com, and we're doing a, a Thursday uh, trade recap video. And you can see markets coming down to its 50%. Well, what 50% is this? If we go out to a weekly chart, this is lows from uh, February, from the correction we had January and February two highs and I drew this up uh, earlier this week as we started to coming down not that I was going to take a blind limit order at the 50% but rather than pulling all kinds of swing lows on the way down so once we broke this swing low up here it was really a matter of okay let's go one retracement out and we had that bounce and uh, we had a nice strong close what was that Tuesday uh, let's see that was the end of uh, last week Friday and oh no, I'm sorry Monday and then Tuesday was the break of that bar and things were looking good on Tuesday. It was a great trading day, had a nice long setup off of lows. Uh, we broke the prior candles high and then we started to kind of fail um, fail the follow through later in the day and we closed below the prior candles high. You know, not a huge cause for concern, but then the following day breaking that hammers low, that kind of sent us uh, sent us off in in tumbling um, not just a break of that hammers low but the swing low I've been talking about that 65 swing low repeatedly uh, you know breaking that and and that's the that's the major swing low that uh, would send us lower and and that's what it did so now rather than trying to pick lows on this move down uh, I just went straight to the full retracement and drew that up 27 38 25 I mean when you think about it this year we you know yeah it's a big looking pullback on the chart here but the market is still uh, sitting on top of some of these highs back here in March so you, you, you can't just think about you know the distance from highs down to lows and the pullback you got to think about where we came from lows up to this point so you know if when you're in a trade you can't dwell on well I had five points profit and I ended up with four points profit and kick yourself you have to focus on well I started the trade at zero and now I'm up four points and that will really help you know propel you forward look through the um, you know the the windshield not so much uh, the rear view mirror so why is that useful and, and what can we do with this information having this 50 percent here well we dipped into the 50 and then closed above it and so I would like to see us start to round out here uh, there's you know definitely a, a good amount of selling filtering out a lot of the um, late comers to the market and you know some longer term uh, traders definitely closing out of positions here. We're clearly below the channel now and below the January high, the all-time high. So I want to see, you know, what does the bounce from here look like? Can we make it up into the short 28, 29 and a quarter? Uh, well, you know, that's that's a that's a ways, and and there's a lot of long opportunity, a lot of buying opportunity from a you know, trading perspective between these two 50s. So I'd be buying down here and shorting up here. You know, from a longer term perspective, investment uh, realm, you know, just like I was buying on the pullback back here in January, uh, you know, this is a great opportunity to add to longer term positions. Um, Get, building a portfolio is something that you know you're constantly adding money over the the course of time and then as you get more funds uh, get more cash in the account then I will purchase more of my longer-term positions 
and and this is a great opportunity to do that so you know see it for what it is yeah you know the media likes to make a big hype about it but this is really where the great traders um, shine and and the good opportunists who if you you know have built up cash through this nice bull run that we've had you know now you can do stuff with it now you can um, you know take some risks and the the reward is higher and the risks are lower so this is a great opportunity uh, to add to some longer term positions and um, you know that really helps smooth out the train when we do start to move higher and once we break new highs which will happen eventually you know if not the end of this year down the road uh, you're going to have more a bigger position going up uh, this next run so that's enough for the kind of the macro perspective let's run through today's trades uh, we've got a lot of trades you know happening or like trend uh, a lot of transactions happening just from here the left side of my chart at the open to the 645 mark I mean that's a lot of activity so uh, I started just drawing up, you know, retracement long, seeing, okay, well, what does the market look like this morning? Well, the long failed. Uh, we had the short kind of dip into the 61.8, and, and then we took out this initial low. I, you know, the first 15 minutes, you can really get a good range of, okay, we've got a low and a high established, and then where do we go? Well, we took out this initial low and uh, started trading trading lower on the morning so 645 was here that's when I start to look for uh, trades to take um, and let's see here the first thing that I ended up doing you know I, I was half expecting maybe a bounce but um, but really seeing that we were relatively close to the 2738 uh, trying to get down there before that bounce occurred. I guess my thoughts going into the day were if we can come down and get down a little bit further and another scare of, you know, Dow down 400 or so, then we might get a nice uh, opportunity to, to go long or add to some positions uh, down here at lows. So uh, when we moved, started moving higher in the morning, I was a little bit concerned uh, that we we may end up, you know, some of those longs may end up failing. Uh, so at highs here on the morning, about the top of the hour, we did get a high tick that lined up with the high price. And that was at uh, just a minute before the, the top of the hour. So we had a swing low here. If I take the, this is kind of the minor swing low, and this is the major one. See how the dip is bigger on either side? as opposed to this is just two candles. So I take from the major swing low to highs and say, okay, I want to see us break that 61.8. We did that, and we also broke the swing low. So then that sets me up in the short. So that was my first trade. I uh, took the short up here, uh, traded down to the target nicely, took a small portion of the position off. Because on these days, you know, I'm trying to get in on smaller trades but then try to stay in longer with the chance of you know more trending and a big sell-off coming or a big rally. Uh, just the moves are bigger, so I don't want to take off more than I have to at the the first target on a a week where we might be very range-bound and not seeing a lot of trending action. I may take more off at the first target um, as opposed to trying to trail more. So uh, took uh, some off there. Market bounced. Once we broke lows, I just moved my stop from up here down to here. Uh, sold off again, bounced, moved my stop down again. And then as we came down, I drew the long up. This was the halfway back of the day, low to high. And we traded right at it nicely. I got a little aggressive with my stop here, started trailing each candle's high, took a little bit off down in here, left the rest of my stop on the position up here, and was eventually taken out over here. And so then the long traded, and uh, that's great. Um, I drew the full opposing. We didn't break this swing high, so I didn't take this long here. Uh, I was waiting for the swing high to break, so I, I passed on that one, although it, it did work out nice. So even if you don't have the exactly uh, 
you know, quote unquote correct drawing, um, you know, when you're getting long at 50% or short at 50%, you have a good chance of the market getting some reaction. So uh, we didn't break there, but then we came up and broke the 618 of the opposing. So that was my signal to draw up the next long. And I got long here at 89s, and then we got a tiny bounce and then sold off, and I got stopped out on that, uh, that long trade. So now, as we go into breaking the long, this is the trading hours only here, I like when we, so here's the 50, here's the 61.8. I like a short that straddles along like that. When we fail, when we go through the 61.8, going back to the first swing high down to lows, uh, makes for a good short. This one did not set up, so I didn't get a fill there, but I tried for it. And then, um, so then we, we traded a little bit lower. We didn't break lows of the day. And uh, we were somewhat in a, in a range. I mean, if you look here, we traded down. This was the bottom of the first half hour. We traded up top of the first half hour. So then I came over here and I drew from highs. We still had that. It was a high ticket highs, but then we had some more high ticks uh, over here, I think it was. So then I drew up this guy here, the short. And um, let's see, what did I do there? Uh, I drew up the short. And then I drew up the opposing. And for some reason, I, I did not take... I did not take this short. Why didn't I take that short? I'm just trying to go through my notes here. Um, I don't exactly remember, but I didn't take this short. Uh, instead, this one. Yeah, why didn't I take that short? I don't. I don't remember. Anyways, um, we had a bigger. The bigger 15 minute set up here short and I drew up that short but like I said I didn't take that one I took the second one swing highs down to lows and I'm gonna go back over here and mark the low so we can because this was important I drew the mark the low of the day but it was like 72s I think it was and yeah right at 72s so uh, anyways, I came over here and I used this as my short entry and then we broke down a little bit, bounced, and then when we broke the swing low again, we hit the first target, I moved my stop above the swing high, trade a little bit lower, bounced, and then I trailed my stop above the next 61.8 and I was, I was kind of thinking, man, if we could come down and break 72s, we got a good shot of, you know, selling off heavy. And this is this was the low of the day. So look what we did. We came down right to it. And so I said, okay, well, if this short fails, if we break that 61.8, then there's a good chance we're going up. So that's why I put my stop above the 61.8. You kind of look at the market and say, where would I be wrong on my assessment? And then that's a great place to, place to stop. So uh, that... It didn't happen. We rolled over. We broke lows. I was thinking, yeah, here, here we go. Um, and I just kind of left my stop alone, and as opposed to bringing it down. It was like two ticks to bring it above this high. I just left it there. And then we, we did get kind of a, a bigger V push, um, but we had already broken lows. So I was kind of hoping that we would, uh, you know, develop into some sort of trend. And we did start to kind of trend slowly it wasn't what I thought it would be we only broke lows by a little bit we bounced and then broke lows again just by a little bit so I started getting a little bit more aggressive um, with my stop and I trailed the next 61.8 and I proceeded to get uh, stopped out right up here and um, what, what's funny about that is that was still 10 points <laughs> um, up here at 81s and then all the way down here to 73s. There's like eight points. Um, so it, you know, it doesn't seem like it was a very big trade. And then uh, we ended up getting that 
little bit deeper rollover. Uh, and that's, you know, that's okay. You're not going to get in every move. But, you know, on any typical day, an eight-point move would have been awesome. And, uh, you know, on today, it seems kind of small. But uh, with the other couple of trades that I had, and even with the one stop out, uh, it was still a good day. Uh, I, I will say that I don't tend to have, like, my... My biggest days aren't necessarily, my biggest P&L days are not these days where we have these massive sell-offs. It's more like these days back here where, you know, at the time, they they still looked pretty big. If I can get the, out of there. I mean, the ranges are pretty big, but you're talking like 30 and 40 point ranges as opposed to, you know, 100 point ranges. Uh, it's, it's It can be really hard to stay in positions very long on these days. And when I say very long, I mean, you might catch five, 10 points, and uh, that's a great move. But in the course of the day, it doesn't seem very big. So don't kick yourself if you get, you know, ticked out of a trade or stopped out, and then it rolls over more. We're just trying to get, you know, consistently take, you know, good trades and do good risk management so that we don't lose our shirt when the market's moving sideways and then when things start to trend uh, and, and give us some good opportunities you know we can trail our stops and, and really ride it out for as as long as we can as long as the market allows us to so a little bit longer video today but i just wanted to walk through a couple of those trades um, i've had some some pretty good conversations with a few of you this week and um it's, I think it's really helpful to kind of discuss where I'm getting into the markets as opposed to um, how you might be seeing the markets. And so that was my, uh, that was my morning here. Um, and if you are interested in uh, you know, chatting one-on-one, -on -one, I'm more than happy to do so. You can always email me, tim at eminimind.com. It's always fun chatting with other traders. So as we head into Friday, um, do we move lower? Yeah, maybe, but we've got this 50% here, and we've come a good ways, so there may be some kind of digestion and relief in store, and then in the next couple of weeks, maybe we get a bounce up into this next short. I don't know. So I uh, hope that was helpful, and I hope uh, hope you didn't lose your shirt in some of this, and you know, great opportunity to look at your portfolio, your bigger, longer-term investments, and assess if uh, you, know, you want to start adding... You know, you're not adding, uh, you're not doubling your position probably, but you're just adding a little bit more uh, cash into your position, and, and that can go a long way in the long run. It, you know, and while the market's going down and moving sideways, chances are you're uh, collecting a dividend and continuing to, you know, keeping that net worth going up and to the right. That's what's most important. Uh, it could be, you know, 50 bucks or 100 bucks some weeks, but it's got to stay going up and to the right. And if you keep asking yourself, okay, it's Friday, what worked this week and what didn't, and you stop doing the things that didn't work and keep putting money and emphasis and thought and uh, effort into the 80%, the, the things that are working, then that will help drive, you know, steer the ship and keep you on a good course. So thanks everyone for tuning in and have a great weekend.